In the quiet Bulgarian village of Krapets on the coast of the Black Sea, fishing is a common job. But this summer, the locals are fishing with diving gear. Guided by diver Nelko Yordanov, we took a look. Nelko manages an action group backed by the EU that helps local fisheries develop sustainably. Fishing is part of this region's economy and culture, and it has gone through a big change. You don't have to dive deep to see it. The shallows are covered with sea snails called veined wrapper whelk. This Western Pacific species invaded the Black Sea a few decades ago and exploded in number, devouring water-filtering mollusks. Scientists were alarmed, but fishermen saw an opportunity. A short catching season can provide income to them for a whole year. The price you can get for wrapper whelks is quite good, around one lev per kilogram. That's about 50 cents. In good weather, an average diver can collect between 500 to 600 kilograms each day. Wrapper whelks spread throughout the Black Sea, helped by rising temperatures, low salinity and the absence of local predators. Today, they have become one of its top commercial species. They're fished close to sustainable limits, not just by small boats that account for more than 90% of the Black Sea's fishing fleet, but also by industrial vessels, like this trawler that catches wrapper whelks for a processing factory in Varna. Explosive growth of Black Sea Rapana populations in recent decades gave rise to a multi-million euro catch and processing market. Every year, Bulgaria, Romania and other riparian countries export hundreds of tons of frozen rapa meat, mainly to South Korea and Japan. To ensure that these shared stocks remain sustainable in the future, the regional fisheries management organization, GFCM, launched a groundbreaking international survey of Black Sea rapa whelk populations. On the one hand, it's an invasive species, but on the other hand, it's an economic resource. So we believe that it should be jointly managed by the General Fisheries Commission for the Mediterranean and by Black Sea countries using an holistic approach. The EU-funded Black Sea for Fish project coordinates the study conducted by scientists from Bulgaria, Romania, Turkey, Georgia, Russia and Ukraine. With this survey, the first time in the Black Sea fisheries research history, so six partners from the riparian countries got together, used the same standardized gear, towed the gear in the same speed for the same duration, collected the samples in the same way, process the samples in the same way, analyze the data in the same way, produce the results in the same way. So now we have where the data is coming from, how the RAPA has been distributed, and where are the large ones and what are, where are the juveniles. Science-based stock management should help sustain RAPA populations, protecting jobs in fishing and processing. This factory in Varna, one of several in Bulgaria, produces frozen wrapper meat mainly for Asian markets. It employs about 130 workers. The majority are women. Most of our employees work in processing where labor is exclusively manual. The people who work here don't often have a high level of education and they make a living using their hands and they're doing quite well here. The blue economy of the Black Sea faces many challenges like small numbers of commercial stocks, complicated environment and weather, and illegal and excessive fishing. But the GFCM sees an opportunity to foster sustainable economic growth in marine farming here. The aquaculture industry was a little bit skeptically approached back then in the years, but now uh, there are already two aquaculture demonstrative centers that were established around the Black Sea one in Romania, one in Turkey, and one forthcoming in Bulgaria. And they could uh, give uh, the opportunity to the fishermen to diversify their activities and to increase their businesses. Romania is well acquainted with fish farming, but growing mussels at sea has faced many barriers, like inadequate regulation and lack of knowledge. But this is now changing thanks to the work of the Aquaculture Demonstration Center in Constanta. 
Since uh, 2020, Romanian waters of the Black Sea are microbiologically classified. We uh, tried to bridge between authorities, uh, investors and the scientists to work together to be on the same page because the public safety is a very important issue. Having confirmed that the Romanian waters meet EU aquaculture standards, the ADC now advises and trains entrepreneurs who want to start their shellfish growing businesses. There are many things to learn, like how to check for pathogenic bacteria. It's very important that farmers are aware of the importance of these analyses. Mussels intended for consumption must be properly monitored and regularly checked in a lab. A local fisherman takes us to his emerging mussel farm near a tourist hotspot where he owns a seafood restaurant. He expects that with the ADC's support, marine farming will help diversify his business. In just a few months, these ropes will be covered with mussels ready to be harvested. I'm doing this on a small scale at first, just to supply my own restaurant. If in the future I develop this further, I shall be able to sell the mussels elsewhere. Across the border in Bulgaria, dozens of companies have made a convincing business case for Black Sea aquaculture. Self-farmed mussels are Dalboka's speciality, a seaside restaurant created by one of Bulgaria's marine aquaculture pioneers. Here we have mussels with vegetables, mussels stuffed with rice, mussels with spicy sauce, with garlic crumbs, with white cheese and mushrooms. Another unique thing are these two original desserts, mussels with an apple filling and with a pumpkin filling. Many Black Sea residents aren't used to eating shellfish, but they are becoming more popular. In an average year, this restaurant alone serves 650 tonnes of mussels that all come from the marine farm just a few hundred metres away. In the past, Bulgaria rarely considered the Black Sea as a source of nutrition. But now I can firmly say that public interest in seafood is huge. The new seafood industries developing around rapper whelks and marine aquaculture can promote the sustainable use of Black Sea resources and give a much-needed boost to coastal economies.